Hi there. How are you, my brothers and sisters? How are you doing okay? God bless you. My name is Joy, the joy of the Lord. Praise God. Today, by God's grace, and by the help of the Holy Spirit, our teacher and helper, we're going to look at the antidote to deception. The antidote to deception. How do we identify deception? How has it, uh, as children of God, can we be able to know for sure that this is deception? My brothers and sisters, Jesus warns us severally, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. And that is to help us to know that we can be deceived. And you don't want to deceive yourself by saying, oh, I cannot be deceived. We can be deceived, but we need to watch. We need to take note. So what, what are those things? The antidote, the, the things that we need to be aware of for us to be able to recognize deception. Praise the Lord. Let's read from John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Praise the Lord. That is Jesus Christ. Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees. When they were asking Jesus, Jesus said, you don't believe me. I've been telling you, you don't believe me. All the works I've been doing, you don't believe me. But my sheep hear my voice. My brother, my sister, do you hear Jesus' voice? Do you know Jesus? Does he know you? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Yes, you may say, oh, I'm a believer. I believe I've um, given my life to Jesus. There's more to being a, a child of God than that. Have you truly repented genuinely? And are you following the Lord? He said, my sheep hears my voice. And I know them and they follow me. So are you following the Lord daily? Jesus says, if anyone desires to be my disciple, Luke 9, 23. If anyone desires to be my disciples, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. So you have to deny yourself and take up your cross daily, daily and follow Jesus Christ. It's not just oh, once a while or maybe when you have troubles, no. Jesus wants you to follow him every day. Praise the Lord. So you need to have a relationship with Jesus because before you can hear his voice. Yes, praise the Lord. So you need to love God. One, we need to love God. If you really love God with all your heart and you love the word of God, then God will speak to you. you. You will have a personal relationship with Christ and he will speak to you. Yes, praise the Lord. So you need to love God, love Jesus with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Praise the Lord and love his word. Love his word. Praise the Lord. We need to love his word. That's how he speaks to us, mainly, basically, through his word. He speaks to our heart. He speaks to our mind. He speaks by the spirit. So if you have a daily relationship with God, he speaks to you. He guides you. He says, my word that I speak, their spirit and their life. Praise the Lord. Two, you need to continue to abide in the word of God. Jesus says in John 15 that if you abide in my word, if and my word 
abides in you. You shall ask whatever you want, and it shall be done unto you. Praise the Lord. Abiding is like living. You are living in the Word. You eat the Word. It's your spiritual food. You live in the Word. You, 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 you study the Word diligently, daily. Praise the Lord. You need to abide in the Word. Somebody uh, told me that if you want to, I think the person works in the banks. He said that in the bank, if you really want to know the fake currency, you just study the original. You don't need anything to do. You don't need to know even to see the fake one, but just study the original currency. Once you study the original currency very well, then when you see a fake one, you can easily, easily identify it. Praise the Lord. And you know, when I kind of look at it spiritually, that is what Jesus is saying. If you abide in my word and my word abides in you, you are my disciples indeed. Praise the Lord. So if we know the word of God, if we study it diligently and we, we, we continue to live in it, to obey it, when any deception comes, we'll be able to recognize that mm -mm, this is not in the word. Jesus does not say this. Praise the Lord. So that is another way to be able to identify deception. Abide in the word. John 17, 17, Jesus says, sanctify them by your uh, truth. Your word is truth. The word of God is truth. And when we read the word of God daily, it sanctifies us, it cleanses us, it's open uh, our understanding, it uh, removes every veil from our eyes so that we'll be able to see clearly Praise the Lord. The word of God is the truth. So when we have the word of God in us, when we memorize it, when we meditate upon it, the truth, when you see a lie, you'll be able to identify that this is a lie. And when you're not fully sure, you go back to the truth and like, okay, this is what the word of God says. Praise the Lord. So we need to abide, continue to abide in the word of God. John 8, 31 to 32, Jesus says, if you, are my if you continue in my word, ye are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Praise the Lord. So when we continue to abide in the word of God, the truth that we know will set us free from lies, from deception. And when we see lies, when we hear lies, when we hear deception, we'll be able to recognize it. Praise the Lord. Another thing is you need to avoid sin and worldliness. The Bible says you can't continue in sin and you want the grace to abound. No, we can't do that. We need to flee. The Bible says flee every appearance of Lost. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we need to avoid sin and worldliness. For we need to trust and obey God. Trust in Him with all our hearts and always obey His word. Do. Let's be doers of the word of God. Otherwise, we'll be deceiving ourselves. Praise the Lord. Another thing is Test the spirit. The Bible says, test all spirit. Test all spirit. What kind of fruit? Is it the fruit of love, joy, peace? You need to test the spirit. Praise the Lord. Another way is by walking in the spirit yourself. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit and by walking in the spirit and also be bearing the fruit of the spirit. Walk in love, in joy, in peace, in kindness, meekness. Patience. When you walk in the spirit, when you see a lie, you'll be able to know that this is not of God. Praise the Lord. And um, finally, I will say you need to continue to watch and pray. 
Watch and pray. Jesus says, watch and pray. Fervently and fast. We need this to be strong in the Lord and also to be able to recognize deception and to be able to fight against the uh, deception of the devil. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord will be with you. The Lord will help us and the Lord will keep us in his truth. God bless you. Amen.